What's going on friends and family? My name is Skyland. I'm reviewing Albion. Let's get into the meat of the video. Basically, Albion is just bones right now. It's really just the foundation of a game. It's just a skeleton of an MMO that uh, hopefully will be fleshed out later on. Now, literally, the thumbnail, the game is literally just bones. If you walk around any, yeah, just anywhere, just anywhere, you're gonna see a whole lot of skeletons. You're gonna see a whole lot of bones of all the little critters getting killed. You're gonna see a whole lot of trees chopped down, a whole lot of rocks dug up. You're just gonna see a whole lot of stuff that people are just farming and grinding, just swaths of just these, these gatherers running around and not even just gatherers as like an archetype of player, but just like everybody is just gathering and just trying to make as much money as possible because this is the gold rush of Albion. Tons of people are joining the game. Tons of people are playing the game. I've already talked about the, the launch day and the overpopulation issues, but this is going to be a rant, a vlog kind of thing. Uh, just sort of a recap of my experience with Albion for this past week, because it's been out for a week. And for a week straight, it wasn't just a day, it wasn't a few days, it's been a week straight of very consistent, actually, I would say increasing issues, and all of the, like, everything that I said might have been a problem with my launch day that I wished would be solved instantaneously was not. It has been exponentially worse. Uh, there's been a lot of exploits being exploited that were obviously exploitable that anybody could have seen. You would think professional developers, you know, that have quality assurance teams, that they you think you, they would see this coming sooner, but I guess some random people in some random guild figure out things faster than professional developers. That makes me a little bit salty. Uh, but anyways, so there's just a lot of things in this game that were just obviously kind of flawed. And, and I really just, mm, man, it kind of makes me mad because in my experience with the alphas and the betas, multiple tests, even when I didn't have premium and the game was a huge grind, there was still something more organic about the game. There was something more magical. There, there was a little bit more mystery. And I just, I love the map design previously, and it's been, it's been through a lot of map designs. But now, the whole game, not just the map, is very formulaic. And what that means is that everybody is kind of just doing chores. And the game was always going to be grindy. You know, it was always going to be grindy. It was always going to be, to an extent, a chore. And technically, we have more chores to do than ever. Or we have more things to do. More fun things. Woo! More rides to ride in our sand park theme box, whatever. But really... It's just everybody is just running through a figure eight on all the maps, on every zone. So as a new player, what you're going to just see, you're just going to walk into any zone and you're going to be trying to level and you're just going to see people who are like farming, who should be at least to say a uh, tier five or they're wearing tier five stuff and they have tier four or five, you know, gathering equipment. And I'm one of those players now, but they are actually going and they're farming tier two stuff. They're farming tier three stuff. And this, these are things that really, like that's for the newer players up and coming to progress through the game, the new guilds to kind of pick up and progress through the game. But you're seeing people make a lot of money, a lot, like the most amount of money farming really, really easy to get stuff that it replenishes instantaneously, supposedly. But since the game is overpopulated and everybody's doing this and they're all farming the tier two and tier three because everything else is, you know, basically a drought, they're, everything else has been farmed to death and they're not respawning fast enough. That means now even the tier three and tier two stuff, which should be instantaneously replenished for new players to progress, is not. Everybody's just running around doing the same thing, just grinding out the same stuff, and you're just gonna see tons of foxes just skinned alive. Just, oh, okay, not alive, but <laughs> you're just gonna see tons of wolves and, and freaking ostriches or emus or whatever. Freaking, all these different creatures just dead, skeletons everywhere, trees chopped down of all tiers, and it's just constantly, it's just a war zone. Not, I'm not even talking about the black zones, the PvP zones. That's really not that much of a war zone. Really, because the game is, is feast or famine. So really the big guilds, the big alliances are just dominating everything. And guilds are completely scared. Like they'll literally opt out of actually fighting them and defending territories. As been the experience of my guild. And people just aren't really participating in what makes Albion Albion. And this was called for. This was actually on forums, you can actually read. And, and multiple AMAs of Sandbox Interactive, people asked these questions, and Sandbox said over and over, no, we did the calculations, we ran the tests, we know what we are doing, and I'm calling bull fucking shit, dude. They didn't know what they're doing, and the game is honestly in a boring state right now, and constantly I'm being like, you know, people are walking up to me in game, and they're, they're saying like, hey, Sky, I like your videos, you're a pretty cool guy, but I disagree with your last video, uh, referencing my launch day issues. No, I don't care if you disagree with me, you're objectively wrong. More than ever, we are still a week out of this, dude. We are having queue times of 20 minutes. I had 20 minute queue times like just yesterday. So six days after launch day, are you kidding me? 
The server is constantly going down. The server is constantly lagging, ping spikes, and sometimes like you just get randomly logged out. Sometimes you try to queue up for a dungeon, you're trying to load into the dungeon, and then, oh, just kidding, your 15 minute queue into that dungeon, it just, it's gone now. I guess you gotta re-queue and wait another 15 minutes or so, which literally just happened to me this morning. This game is like, kinda cool, man. And that's why I'm talking about it. And that's why I'm doing this sort of like surplus video talking about this. But I want you guys to know what I'm feeling. I wanna know what you guys are going through as well in the comments below, but basically that's it. Right now, Albion has been through so many different changes that it's now just sitting at a, at a place that it's just a foundation. It's a very formulaic, obvious, and somewhat bland and boring foundation. Um, there's some cool things, you know, Hellgate's are a cool idea. You know, the, the duels, I love dueling, and I, I love the idea of the sheep versus wolf gatherer versus, uh, you know, player killer experience, but really, you're not incentivizing and pushing players to go out into the PvP zones. You're not really incentivizing, and the game is not, it doesn't seem very well designed in its current foundation. It seems like you need to add way more content, or, honestly, just rework the fucking game again, because it seems like you're not afraid to do that. I don't know, maybe you reworked it too many times and at this point you don't know what you're doing or maybe you never did. I don't know and honestly I don't care. All I care about is the community, the players, and my gameplay experience and right now it's boring. A lot of people I talk to say it's boring. The my streams had had like 7 viewers but I'll go play Gigantic, I'll go get 50 viewers but on Albion Online, a brand new MMO that I hyped up for like 2 years that I talked about since I worked with free MMO station because yeah you wanted to be free to play and then you changed your mind on that. Holy fuck. I got seven viewers? I don't think so. Albion Online overall needs to be way more exciting. Your biggest actual YouTubers who aren't already streaming something else have like hundreds of views on their YouTube channels. That's fucking bad. That is bad. Your game is not fun to watch overall. It's only fun in little bursts, but the problem is, is you cannot play Albion in little bursts. You need to live in Albion Online, and that's what most people do that are playing this game. It's overpopulated with people who are consistently, constantly on the game, and it's just kind of squeezing out the life of the game when you should be, you know, pushing those players in other directions. So I'm just going to finish this by saying, uh, you know, if you don't know Albion, uh, why is it that players are kind of staying in these areas? And it's because, uh, you know, okay, so to level, you need to get different tiers of wood and stuff like that. Tier 2, Tier 3, Tier 4, uh, kind of the reminiscent of Minecraft or something. But imagine if you couldn't ever just go and get, you know, the highest resource, you have to level that up first. But turns out the fastest way to level up is actually to get the lowest resource. It's kind of similar to Black Desert Online. Basically, instead of going and farming the hard mobs and going and farming the rare resources, it's actually better to flash farm the easier stuff. And so everyone's doing that because it respawns faster and it gives a similar amount of fame for a similar amount of time or even better or faster. Now, flash farming should be a tactic. It should be a strategy that's used by niche people and niche you know, communities and niche areas of the map, but it's everywhere. It's everyone. Everyone is doing that. You will literally see tips and tricks videos or like, you know, comments on forums of like, you know, people having issues of grinding and people will be like, oh, no, dude, you're not supposed to, you know, grind tier four, dude. Go get tier three, dude. Just just grind tier three and then go sell it in Sierra Leone and boom, that's it. That's all you got to do. Uh, you know, just you might you probably won't even get ganked the whole time you're playing the game. You might not. You might not. I really have not been ganked unless I put myself and purposely wanted to be ganked for footage. Uh, so, yeah, the game just doesn't incentivize you to actually really play the game, to really go out and experience what makes Albion special at all. The game incentivizes too much of a really boring play style. That's honestly all I can say. I normally don't like saying that, but right now, all I can say to kind of combat what a lot of comments are going to say is that, hey, you're having fun, you're grinding at a, a decent pace, you're not even at a big guild, all that good stuff. All I can say is that I've played the alphas, the betas, multiple times with premium, without premium, and I can tell you right now, when in one of the alphas previously, without premium, in a most grindy state the game has ever been in, I had more fun. That's what I will say. In all of my contention in my other videos talking about how grindy the game is or how ill-designed, you know, some of the some of the stuff is the mechanics of leveling and grinding and the premium status and all that bullshit, even when the game is the most grindy. I actually had more fun. I thought there was more love put in more soul into Albion Online. Right now, you know, I got hope for the game. I'll still play the game probably every day. But I'm going to let you know right now, as an average player, you are probably not going to see the soul. You're probably not going to see the love of this game because it's really not fucking showing itself. It's hidden under the corpses and bones of just just the whole game. The whole game is just a fucking graveyard at this point. 
it's an incredibly overpopulated graveyard. <laughs> it's like a rainforest that's been chopped the fuck down. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's Albion Online, guys. Uh, yeah, so the thumbnail, that picture, that image. If anybody has watched my streams, can you please vouch for me and say, yeah, I was watching Skyland stream and uh, that's pretty much what it looked like. It looked like a walking simulator and there was just tons of skeletons everywhere and that was pretty much the gameplay. He streamed it for about 12 hours a day for like a week straight. So yeah, pretty confident myself and hopefully you guys who watch the streams or do play the game as well that I'm, I'm pretty confident that you know deep down inside that the game could be so much better. And I promise you guys, even in some of the worst states that Albion has been in, there was still more magic and love. It's too formulaic right now and it's just super fucking obvious and that's why everyone's exploiting everything that's fucking obviously exploitable. So, devs, please. I don't know what the obvious fixes are, but I know what the obvious problems are. Get on it. Much love, guys. Have fun. See you in the next one.